This is the route Alexandria Palud walks a few times a week, but lately she's been stopping a lot. As you can see, its wings are fluttering like it's trying to go. She's found about five dying bumblebees a day. They're supposed to be getting nectar and flying, and this guy is not doing any of the sort. He's just walking around. Palud didn't know it, but there's a real buzz around dying bees. <laughs> Evan Sugden is a honey bee keeper. He's also a professor at the University of Washington, where students learn about why bee populations are declining. Little brown specks, those are varroa mites. That's the big challenge to bees. The mites spread viruses and wipe out colonies, but that's likely not Fly away. what's wrong with this bumblebee. So I don't think this one's doing that well. In late summer, worker bees naturally die off, but this year's heat may have brought the trend earlier than normal. It also brought something else not so normal. Bring it back to life that way. Palud made a desperate attempt to save her most recent find. And her emergency elixir? Put a drop or two of Mountain Dew in my hand and let the bee drink. But she didn't stop there. And a back rub. A back rub? Yeah. Just kind of like pet them gently. <laughs> Everyone likes a little TLC, right? But uh... sugar water can give otherwise healthy bees an energy boost, and even says gentle touch can't hurt. I do pet my bees, but I don't get a lot of feedback. I think they just like it. <laughs> Lude's bee flew off, but she's found a handful more since then. Her friends call her the bee whisperer. Everybody needs some kind of a chance at life, so. Just giving these guys a chance. In Seattle, Ellison Morrow, King 5 News.